Hi, I'm Kev from Sons of Cain and welcome to this week's video. Last weekend we went up to Blackpool, uh, we had a great time, we met some fantastic instructors. Sifu Tonglu put on a summer camp and it was just fantastic seeing everyone and learning these new techniques and just having a discussion with other martial artists. As usual, I've got Chris with me. Hi guys. What we're going to be looking at is a hungar technique that we were taught. Uh, Kev has done hungar system before and I can see how it relates to our karate system as well. But we picked up a technique about how to operate the body, use the body dynamics to get more power in your technique and we thought can we do that with the cane? Can we do it in the chair? So this is what we're going to be looking at today. Like always we changed the name of it because as Kev does it he looks like a complete monkey so we decided to call this the gorilla. Don't forget to subscribe for videos each week and push the notification bell which will give you an email when we post new content. New content is posted on a Wednesday and a Saturday. As Chris said before, uh, we went up to Blackpool this year and we see this principle where the instructor was saying about the size of your, your shoulders, the width of your shoulders, and the one that's got the more width will have the more power when throwing a punch. And he showed us this great technique where you throw one arm out to the back and extend the strike to the front with the other arm. So I looked at it and I thought, yeah, that actually looks familiar from a system that I did back in London. So if I just go to side on with uh, Dan. Now remember, when you're striking a pad, you're not striking the surface. You want to go to the back of the pad. So using the palm strike, one hand goes back, one hand goes forward. And there's a fair amount of power there, yeah? Mm -hmm. And we were thinking, got a cane. So, again, crooks out, I'm going to put it backwards just for safety's sake. The arm goes back, the punch goes in. You've also got that wobble. Remember from a video that we've done, we'll put a link up top about how the cane wobbles after you've punched. So, but what about if we want to swing the cane? So, we go to the side, the hands across the chest, or a guard position, it gets thrown back, and you're striking. And you're here, and you think, oh, I could change hands. And this is where that gorilla technique comes in. You change hands, and you throw the other hand. And it's almost like beating your chest. So you're coming over the cane, smacking, changing hands, throwing out, change hands. When I first looked at this technique, I thought, this will work really well with the cane, especially for a swing. So by stepping back, throwing my arm out and simultaneously throwing out my cane, I thought I'll get quite a bit of power from this. The problem was, as I did this, it actually swung around so fast, I cracked myself in the back, which though people found this hilarious, was not the intended action of this. So unless I get a guaranteed strike on this, it's not a technique I would do um, ad hoc because it really did generate a lot of power but we adapted it as we always do but if I'm going to strike the cane to the pad I can, get, I can generate a lot of power we've done the body mechanics video and I can get a fair amount of power from that but adding that little technique that Kev just showed you by beating your chest stepping back rotating my shoulders throwing my arm back you get a lot more power and to be honest it's a lot less effort than before if you bring it forward in if I haven't got room to swing so bearing in mind we might be in a confined space there might not be room to throw the cane I can use this end so it's the same principle it's like a hammer fist but I'm bringing this up I'm going to square my shoulders to the front throw my arm back I'm going to twist my hips and just drop everything into it if I'm just standing here and doing that, I'm impressed. But by doing this, then again, it's generating that power that we want. If I do it with a swing, I'm going to do this very, very slowly. As I'm moving, everything's moving, and it really does generate a lot of power. I'm not going to throw it out, because I don't think even the power would be of much use to down on this one. 
if you've got a solid bag, practice it. With a pad, practice here. But what if the cane's in my other hand? I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to generate my momentum by throwing my cane behind me. And I'm going to, I'm going to use a hammer fist for this, because I enjoy this. We do a lot of hammer fists in our style. So rather than just impressed, no, he's not impressed. But I'm going to throw this out. I, this hasn't increased any, any power. This has caused, created the extra power. I'm going square on, side on, throwing my momentum that way, and just allowing my arm to come through. Now with us, we use a lot of forearm strikes. So I only have to be in the general area, rather than when we do pressure points, I'm aiming at specific points, trying to get specific angles. But for just clearing, this will add a hell of a lot more power and it will penetrate your strike through the pad and then ultimately what you want through your opponent. So as you can see, by doing this, works really well. Add some footwork into it as well. So as you're striking, step across. So you're going into like a hall stance or sumo stance. So you're stepping through as well as striking through as well. So rather than just being here, you're adding this in, you're adding this in, and you're putting it all together. Here's my opponent, here's my target, I'm going to step, thing, and go through. If you want, we use these strikes quite a lot, and we drag them through. So you've got choices of using the cock and strike, the forearm, if you're going across the face, you've got the finger strikes, if you go that way, knife hand strikes, back fists, don't forget, open hand karate, we've got a lot of these tighter hands, eagle claws, there's lots of different variants to this. If I've grabbed his arm and done this, I'm throwing his arm away, he's not going to be happy with me. So just experiment with it, find which works for you and your ability. So I'm going to step through, strike through, and think. I'm going to hold my cane this way this time. So it doesn't matter how you're holding the cane, and and if I so desire, I can bring this through, this through, and I can start the whole sequence again. Remember, it's not about one attack, it's continuing until you've achieved the aim of being safe. So you may need to do more than one strike. We are going to do um, a more in-depth video on this, but in our kata we go from what we call linear to rotational. So in Sien Chin, we have this motion where it comes up and it strikes down. If you apply this as the same principle, I've got myself a clearance or a fan block. So I'm stepping, I'm driving my arm out, and I'm driving through. The distance from here to here in a straight line is this. But what I've done is done this circular motion. So my fan block, or my clearance swing, will add as I'm stepping, and I can generate that power. And I've got a big drag through. If the cane is in my left hand, I've still got this big clearance. I've gone into this gorilla mode. I'm stepping through, driving through, and I'm throwing that through. So, targets, we always say dangerous, dangerous, less dangerous. It all depends on the intent of your attacker. Because this system is new to us, and it's going to be new for the two canes, to get this motion and have it followed immediately by this motion, someone that actually needs canes to walk like myself for balance, we're working now on how to get this momentum going. If you've got any comments about this, or any ideas, drop them in the section below. We will be working on it, but it may take us a little bit of time. Thanks for watching guys, we hope you like this video. It is just the beginning of the journey, and a very, very small technique that we've started off with. Um, give us a thumbs up down below, smash that like button, give us a comment, let us know what you think. As always, please share if you, th if you liked it. Please give us some criticism if you think we need it. We won't grow, we won't develop, unless you point us in the direction that we need to be going. We've had some really nice personal messages about things that people would like to see, and we do appreciate it. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell for notifications. Free the fear.